Let me show you a use case of using weights and biases automations for LLM fine tuning and evaluation. In this workflow, researchers push the initial checkpoints of the models they want to try. They can use the alias start to mark these checkpoints. Once the checkpoints get pushed, this will trigger automatically a supervised fine tuning job on a specific hardware. In our case, we're using a node of eight GPUs. The alias start will trigger the supervised fine tuning job. Once that job has finished, um, it will push a new checkpoint with the actual model fine tuned. This checkpoint will have the SFT alias that will trigger the later reinforcement learning phase, in our case, a DPO training. And then once the DPO training has finished, um, we will use the eval alias, so we will tell um, the orchestration to actually run evaluation. And this is going to be run on a smaller hardware as evaluation is a simpler task. Let me show you the workspace of this given project. So as you can see, the project has um, using, is using groups to organize. So we have like the initial model, the supervised fine tuning version, the DPO and the later eval. We click one of those. Uh, runs, we actually have the metrics of, of the training that went here. And if we go to the overview tab, we can see that, um, yeah, this, this consumed the input artifact, the initial model, and produced the output artifact, the fine-tuned model. You can also click here and see the lineage of this full um, orchestration pipeline. So an initial model, a fine-tuned task, train SFT, then train DPO, and at the end, an evaluation task. You can also go and check the jobs here and you see the actual jobs that can be triggered manually from the UI here using launch. But we're interested in automating this workflow. So if you click the automations here, we can see we have three automations. Cephyr SFT, that it's using the, um, the action SFT, Cephyr SFT, that's the job that I showed you before, the DPO phase, and then the evaluation. And as you can see, the training phases require more hardware. So they are running on A100s, so eight of them. And the evaluation, it's running on a small hardware dedicated for inference. So this is really powerful and you can actually customize how this um, task run. Every one of these tasks is packaged as a Docker container and, and you can see the details of the queue um, by clicking on the different queues. Um, you can check the configs here, and as you can see, we can give some environment variables so we can run this um, on an organized way. In our case, we're passing the hanging phase cache so we don't download the vaults every time. And that's it. Um, this way you can set up your orchestration and have a project that is capable of being run automatically and make the best use of all your, all your resources.